Hello viewers, do excuse this video and my hair, naturally, I haven't done anything with it yet. This is just a quick explanation video before the main video you're about to watch. It is part of my incomplete video of my visit to Southampton with two of my friends back in February. And because this film clip in particular has been on storage, I wanted to do something about it to show my support. Anyway, during my visit in Southampton, I went to a place called Dragon Armoury, which is owned by Jay, and him and his friends and co-workers make lots of weapons, armour, helmets, custom-made, all sorts out of foam for something like cosplay, for films, which will benefit me, and also for LARP especially, which stands for Live Action Role Playing. And so I hope you enjoy and let's rewind back to February. Well guys, we are finally here at Dragon Armoury. It's actually a, a workshop that belongs to the owner. And as you can see, it's like a very open nature sort of area, like his house and the trees or woods, all kinds of items laying around. So he's just given me permission to record and so we're going to have a look in his workshop. So let's take a peek. Oh, shit. So here this is his workshop where the magic happens, where he makes all kinds. So yes, as a workshop you've got all sorts all over the place. Items that you use to craft and make splendid weapons, armor, shields, accessories and all kinds. Like here's one, a rapier. And here's like a big large one right here. As you can see, most of his work in production. This is one of his rooms where he makes and shapes. Not sure particular, I guess he can draw them onto wood and then cut them out so that they're perfectly measured and the right size. And here's all his work. And these are all his nice finishes, touches, like the handguard, the eagle for the rapier, that impressed me the moment I got here. Make some very large interesting shields. And here his room where he spray paints on the props.
Hello there. Or I can't forget about the mass up above me. And so I am with Jay, who is the owner of his lovely workshop where all the magic happens. So Jay, how long have you been making these lot weapons, armors and props, etc? Uh, okay, so I made my first lot weapon when I was at college, which was 27 years ago. So 27 years. And, and do you... Do you make a lot of money from all of these props that you make? Um, it's, it's, that's a, it's a good question. Uh, I made more money when I was working in the film industry, let's put it that way. Uh, I do this because I love it. it. I wouldn't recommend it as a great way of making a career. <laughs> making a, uh, but uh, it's, I enjoy it, I, I do okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. And are you the only one that makes all of these props? Uh, so I have uh, an apprentice that works with me, uh, I say he's an apprentice, he's more kind of a uh, business partner stroke uh, apprentice. Uh, he does all the casting work, uh, does a lot of the office and organisation stuff, but I do most of the actual creation side of things. So um, I, I, work on, I, I do work on the PC for 3D printing. Uh, we have a CNC machine, uh, do all the data to run the CNC machine, I hand sculpt, I make the blades and I do most of the painting. So. How did you feel about me turning up to your doorstep? <laughs> it was a surprise but it's fine, We, we people are welcome to visit, um, we don't have a shop as such, um, just because we, we're not allowed to here. That's all because it's residential. Um, but you can uh, give us a call, and you're quite welcome to visit. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can see our stuff at uh, Wormwick, Wormwick Armories. They make all our armour, and they have a shop there that has some of our stuff in. And otherwise, you can visit our website and our Facebook. You can see what we do. We do a lot of custom work, and we have a a, a pretty decent range of stuff that you can just buy off the shelf. Well, I'll do say it on camera too that I apologise for me and my friends turning up on your doorstep like that. <laughs> That's right. We were in the neighbourhood <laughs> and I really wanted to have a look at another LARP shop or workshop. Sh That's fine. Uh, the very last question I will ask is what is the most absolute difficult props that you've ever made? Oh god. Uh, as, as us, as Dragon Armoury, or in my career? Uh, let's say both. Uh, let's say both, okay. Uh, uh, in my career, um, one of the most difficult jobs, just because we had such a short time to make it, was I made a one-fifth scale model of the Thrust 2 car that broke the land speed record. We had five days to make it for a, a Sony PlayStation advert. So that, that was a tough job because that was that was such a short period of time to make it. Um, I the, can just imagine. Yeah. Um, and the the toughest thing we've done here, we did some armor for uh, Warhammer Total War, the computer game. Uh, Warhammer Total War 2, the computer game, 
Uh, we did some armour for uh, Von Carlson, the Vampire Lord from that game, and we had uh, two weeks to make it, so we had to get it 3D printed, uh, mould it, well, 3D printed, clean up, clean up the prints, mould it, cast it and paint it in two weeks. Did it take you a uh, day and night to get yeah, it I ready? Yeah, I did quite a few 24 hour <laughs> shifts on that one. The day before we delivered it, I worked 36 hours straight and then we delivered it and then I slept for 12 hours straight. So. You must be very proud of that and the work that you do constantly. Yeah, I mean, it, it has its ups and downs, but when I get jobs finished and customers are happy and I see the smiles on their faces, that that's, you know, that's awesome. Well Jay, I'd just like to say thank you very much for allowing me to film you and your workshop. This on camera as well. You see, uh, one of my friends, um, a girl in the car, Amy, yep. she sent me this text saying, please don't get killed. <laughs> <laughs> because they found it um, dodgy, but they're not very, um, um, what's the word, um, uh, tough or adventurous, adventurous <laughs> or have any courage. So oh, no, I'm they a thought nice, I'm that a nice you were some sort of serial killer or something. No, I'm a pacifist. And we're back to the present day. So it was actually quite a fantastic visit and I did unexpectedly turn up at his doorstep because I wasn't really aware that Dragon Armoury wasn't actually a shop. It was just Jay's house, his garden and his workshop where he makes everything there. And it's all practically done through his products, through selling online. But while I was visiting there, I didn't want to go empty handed so I bought something from him which is this, which is called a crow rapier and it's one of those one-handed light-weighted swords similar to like a fencing sword weapon and this cost £180 which was a very lot and steep amount of money but there wasn't anything else he could really sell to me because they were all part of the order where people had purchased online on his website so just to show you a little closer. So it's quite fantastic foam, super strong. And the details like the crow on here is just fantastic. I mean, even look at the handle. It's so detail with details on it. But soon after our visit in Southampton, the very next day, I made my money back at the Northampton Casino with my friends. So I didn't really spend anything in the end. But it's fantastic and it will certainly come in handy for one of my film projects. So I'm sorry that I've had this on storage for so long. There was the reason being that my incomplete video of my visit in Southampton was stopped is because both of my friends will not properly prepared for the weather because it was February so in England it's pretty damn cold especially when you're going to let's see, the west part of England where there's hail storms coming and we were in the middle of the wilderness at that time Ugh. so thank you still for checking this video out please show Jay your support down in the links below. I'll be leaving the links to his website where you can purchase any of these weapons, shields, armor, helmets, anything, or make a special custom made if you want. 
And there's also his Facebook page which does pretty much the same thing where you can send messages or order and such. I'll leave them in the link so look down below to check them out. Thank you again and see you for another video.